Hi, welcome to another episode of PSRE Science Made Simple. I'm Chen Hong and I'm a PSRE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a passing examination question on the topic of energy. I have also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 6. Which of the following allows a ball to roll from the start to the end when released? When you scan through all the options, you will realize that the ball starts on the right side and needs to roll to the left to reach the end point. And as the ball rolls from right to left, you will realize that there's this middle hill that the ball needs to roll over. So whenever you see this kind of question, the question is essentially asking you, does the ball have enough energy to roll over the hill in the middle to reach the end point? So this question is on the topic of energy. How do I start the question? We can use option 1 as a basis of our discussion to do this question. Let's look at the ball in option 1 first. We see that the ball starts on top of a hill at a height above the ground. So can you recall for me which energy has height above the ground as its factor? We can recall that gravitational potential energy has height above the ground as its factor. Therefore, at the start point, the ball will possess gravitational potential energy. After the ball is being released, we know that the ball will roll downhill to the left until the bottom of the hill. At this point of time, gravitational potential energy will be converted to another form of energy as the ball is rolling down. Do you know which form of energy is this? When the ball is rolling down, gravitational potential energy will be converted to kinetic energy because rolling is a form of movement. Right, so when the ball is at the bottom of the hill, we know that the ball will naturally roll back up. The question is, will the ball have enough energy to roll over the hill in the middle? In order to answer this question, I want you to take out a ruler and a pencil. Draw a line from the base of the ball at a starting point across the hill in the middle like this. And you will realize that the hill is slightly taller than the ball starting point. At this point, we need to discuss whether the ball has enough energy to roll over the hill that is higher than its starting point. Now, in order to discuss this, I'm going to draw your focus back to the ball rolling down from the starting point down to the hill like this. When the ball is rolling down the hill, we know that the ball is in contact with the ground. So essentially, the ball is rubbing against the ground. Now, I want you to mimic this scenario with your left hand as the ball and your right hand as the ground. And let's rub our hands together. Do you hear a sound? Yes, we hear a sound. And what kind of energy do you think I'm referring to when I'm talking about sound? I am referring to sound energy. Alright, and as the ball rolls down the hill, it's going to roll faster and faster. So let us mimic that by rubbing our hands faster and faster. Now, not only do you hear a sound, how does your hand feel right now? Your hand feels warm, doesn't it? So when I talk about warmth, what kind of energy do you think I'm referring to? When I talk about warmth, I am referring to heat energy. From this, we can learn that as the ball is rolling down the hill, some of its kinetic energy is being converted to sound energy and heat energy. Since some of the ball's kinetic energy has been converted to other forms of energy, at this point of time, do you think the ball will possess more or less kinetic energy? The ball will possess less kinetic energy at the bottom of the hill. Since the ball is going to roll back up, we know that kinetic energy is going to convert back to gravitational potential energy because the ball is going to be at a greater height above the ground. Now, here is a question for you. Will less kinetic energy convert back to more or less gravitational potential energy? Less kinetic energy can only be converted back to less gravitational potential energy. Since the ball now possesses less gravitational potential energy, do you think the ball is going to roll to a higher or lower height as compared to the starting point labelled with the green straight line? Since the ball possesses less gravitational potential energy, the ball is going to roll to a height that is lower than the starting point, which is over here. With this understanding, do you think the ball has enough energy to roll over the hill in the middle to reach the end point? No, we can see that the ball will not have enough energy to roll over the hill in the middle. Alright, so what is the key to doing this question? I want you to think of the height of the middle hill. 
in order for the ball to have enough energy to roll over the hill in the middle, the hill in the middle should be at a height that is lower than the ball starting point in order for the ball to roll over it to reach the end point. So we do not have to analyze every single option to reach our correct answer. The trick to doing this question is to draw a line from the ball starting point across the middle hill for all options and spot for the middle hill that is lower than the ball starting point. Let's take your pencil and your ruler and begin to draw that line from the ball starting point across the middle hill right now. After drawing all these lines, in which options do you see the middle hill having a lower height than the ball starting point? We see that in options 2 and 4, the middle hill is lower than the ball starting point, which means options 1 and 3 will not be the answer and we can cross them out already. Right now we have an issue of two possible answers. And from here, how do I reach the correct answer? I am sure some of you are able to spot the correct answer. But for those of you who are still unsure, I am going to point you to the ball in option number 4. If I release the ball in option number 4, do you think the ball is going to roll to the left side or the right side? We see that the ball will be rolling down towards the right side because the ball is on the slope that is facing backwards. Which is why the ball will roll to the right side. And if the ball rolls to the right side, do you think the ball will ever reach the end point? No, of course not. The ball will never be able to reach the end point which means option 4 cannot be the correct answer, leaving us with our correct answer to be option number 2. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you would like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!